and oh boy that f15 is not doing too hot but look at the odds that's 250 versus 250 f15s versus su27s and why did i do this to my computer well that's because thanks to everybody watching videos there's 500 subscribers or now even more on this channel so f15s aim nines and aim 120 c5s su 27s they got ecm pods they've got two r73s two ets and four 27 er's the reason i gave them the ecm pods is because the f15 has jamming built in drop a comment who you think will win i had to figure out how to put 250 planes now 250 planes in squadrons of four is basically 62 and a half four plane squadrons so copy paste organize that looks beautiful no problems there a couple of more planes in the back f-15s copying and pasting them all copying pasting pasting and at this point i realized that there's only one per squadron so i had to go and delete every other f-15 okay that's a huge fail okay let's try this again four planes per squadron organize them nicely place them all down then decide that well maybe they're not fairly spaced so to make sure this is kind of fair respace all of the first 20 planes copy paste looks good 60 62 and a half squadrons all right we are good to go let's uh drop in some text using the new features from the um dcs menu here <laughs> mark our red side mark our blue side um the text feature is actually pretty neat it drops right into the um into the map really easy to edit and uh you type in the text and you click on the text box and there it goes and i was thinking of putting a neutral plane up that i could monitor this madness from but uh i gotta tell you that it wasn't a good idea because there's way too much lag i was getting approximately four fps so i was like okay i'm going to put in some armor some trucks that are just gonna sit on the ground and i could spectate from those but again you know what even though i put them in here it was still a mess all right so check this out 250 su-27s with four ers versus 250 f-15s do a little bit of a restart there make sure that it looks good i'm tracking my cpu performance in the bottom corner there and some interesting facts for you here the gpu did not care the settings were at low 2560 by 1440 gpu didn't care at all whatsoever but look at the last core on the cpu that last core is basically the one that got completely overloaded so there's your lesson faster cores and less of them hyper threading didn't make a difference just check out the very end of the video but let's get into this battle it's mesmerizing isn't it look at all those missiles so most of them are ers and 120s on the first launch looking at the planes the planes actually stacked in a very interesting position the planes in the back climbed all the way up to um, 40,000. The planes in the front were at about 20,000. And the planes in the middle got to about 30,000. And that was the approach that they did, which was very interesting. This was identical on both sides. So if you pause and watch this again. Interestingly enough, the SU-27s pulled back and regrouped and re-engaged, whereas all of the F-15s went right in and surprisingly, they got wiped out. Okay, so let's look at the missiles that were used in that engagement. 129 Russian planes shot down, 250 F-15s shot down. By the stats, if I filter by just the number of hits by AIM-120s, there's a few american planes that are hit by the m120s but most are hitting su 27s there's a couple of hits on an r73 one more couple more hits there on other us planes and there's a few more at the bottom 
That's an interesting picture though. So a lot of the hits with, with the A120s. Now let's take a peek and uh, see what we get for, well, how about the uh, AIM-9M? All right, so for the AIM-9M, launched at 8.02, so about two minutes into the engagement, allowed the airplanes to close some distance. There's a few hits on friendlies, but not that many hits in total. Let's just take a peek at how it looks in general here. A lot of launches. Some of them have definitely gone stupid. A lot of shots, but not necessarily a lot of hits. Which is odd because I would have expected the M9Ms to do a little bit better there. All right, so let's uh, change this up and let's go back to the all view. This way we can see all the shots and all the kills. A lot of shots all happening right at the beginning of the match in the first minute. And then look at that. First couple of kills are on friendlies. Three, four, five, yeah. No, they're definitely hitting a lot of friendlies. Uh, that's uh, it's very weird. All right, and then we start hitting the Russian planes. And yep, there we go. There's the Russian casualties from the AIM-120s. And we do get some, some F-15s that are hit by the AIM-120s, especially kind of here in the middle near the end. Maybe this is when they went into close up, uh, close combat and the AI was preferring to use 120s up close. Similarly with the AIM-9Ms, whole bunch of hits right there, wow. A lot of hits and lots of kills. So these are not necessarily kills, but they, those are hits resulting into kills afterwards. It's not being filtered. Guns, huh. Looks like one of the Russians got some uh, gun kills on the American plane. Really interesting. That's the only gun kill. All right, ERs, look at the length of that bar. And that's a lot of ER launches. Look at all those. First launch is at 8.01 and 39. We'll look at that in just a second to see who launched earliest. But that's a lot of launches. And here come the hits. Additional shots and the hits just keep on coming. Look at that. I'm not seeing any friendly fires right there because it's a Fox 1 missile. It has to be guided all the way to the target. Yep, that's looking pretty good. Uh, what What is this? All right, I'm not sure who Ariel 2001 is, but I think he's a traitor to the uh, Soviet Union, and uh, he just splashed two of his own uh, planes. All right, he was drinking too much vodka. You know, he's like, I'm drinking vodka, and uh, yes, I will shoot my own planes. That's just weird. Okay, um, how about the ETs now? I'm going to expect a lot more hits on friendlies here. Uh, right there. <laughs> All right, so that's one friendly kill. Again, lots of launches. Another friendly kill. Oh yeah, those ETs are definitely hitting a lot of friendlies and killing them. There's actually an ET on ET hit there. But after the first volley, here's all the hits and the kills on the F-15s. Splashes, a couple of more friendlies. And the rest are very much US planes. Yep, few more uh, acquisitions there on uh, one more there. So not, not that many. Oh, there's a bunch. So hit, kill, hit, kill, hit, kill. That's like three more right there. So there's a few, but definitely less than the AIM 120s. Interesting. Uh, there's a few, but not. I, I don't think there's as many as the 120s. We'll do a little recount here. All right, and let's take a look at the R73. Lots of launches at 802.14, so there's a few, there's one friendly. A lot of successful hits though. Another friendly, third friendly, and fourth. So I, you know what? It looks like the Russian weapons are hitting a lot less friendlies. If we look specifically here, there's one, two, three, four. Four friendly uh, splashes with the R73. Let's take a peek at the AIM-9M. I see one, two, three, four. Ah, four and four, okay. But a lot more, a lot more successful hits. Let's take a look at the 120. One, two, three, four. Okay, that's four, five, six. 
All right, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Oh boy, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. So eighteen aim one twenty hits. Okay, so that's eighteen. Uh, ERs. One single uh, friendly hit with uh, two two hits with ERs. Okay. Now the ETs are a bit more aggressive. There's five right there. I think we got the number we got to beat is eighteen. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Ooh, this might be 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. All right, so ET had the most friendly kills, followed by the 120. And, uh, but overall, let's take a look at the launch times as well. So the first launch of the ET was at 80126. And the first ER was 801.39. So the ETs got launched earlier. 120 got launched kind of in the middle. 801.28. And the ETs, 801. So there's a 10 second difference between the ET, uh, sorry, the 120 launch and the ET got launched earliest. So it was ET was the first launch, followed by the 120, followed by the um, ER. M9s and R73s launched at almost the same time. All right, that was a lot of nerding out, but uh, 129 Russian planes lost and 250 out of 250 F-15s splashed. Let's take a look at this from the F-15 perspective. So this is camera view, four times speed. I'm going to try to comment on this. Bear with me. I'm panning the camera around to just to give you the, the perspective of this battle. That is a lot of planes. And again, they're doing the climb. So the, the front planes are staying at about 20,000 feet, about 7,000 meters. The mid planes are climbing it to about 10,000 meters. It's about 30,000. And the guys in the back, and there's the launches. Okay, hang on. There, there go the launches. But check out in the bottom, and there's a few splashes on the red team there. But check out the bottom right-hand corner. Those... ERs are making a lot of smoke. Look at all that smoke from the ERs and the ETs. Wow. Maybe I'll capture the video just from the other side just to see how that looks. The video card, speaking of that, is not giving a darn. It's running at like 30% and uh, it's just the CPU getting hammered just on that very last core. Shows you just how unoptimized this game is. All the other cores are chilling out and just the very last core is getting hammered. And if you're thinking uh, why there's only eight, that's because I disabled multi-threading to test this out. But jump to the very end of this video and uh, you'll see that it actually doesn't make any difference at all whether you're running with all cores um, with hyper-threading or not because it's the same pain in the... Oh, that guy got shot down and he is going down. So yeah, disable hyper-threading doesn't make too much of a difference. The F-15 has definitely put up a valiant effort. It was very weird that the airplanes on the blue side pushed right into the horde of the Su-27s, and the Su-27s actually pulled back to fire their missiles from a distance after being engaged. So some weird AI behavior, some interesting AI behavior, also the way they all ascended. And uh, if you guys want, you can grab the file from the link in the description. But speaking of links in the description and all of your likes and supports, and to support you, I am going to buy you a module. Well, I'm going to buy two of you a module, randomly drawn, and it's fairly simple rules that I could think of. So really straightforward. If you're a new subscriber, comment on this video and tell me what module you would love to get. And if you're an existing subscriber, put in, hey, I'm an existing subscriber, and here's the module I would like to get. And there will be a draw on December 5th and I'll choose one existing subscriber and one new subscriber and uh, reach out to you as a response to a comment and I'll publish a little video about it and I'll hook you guys up with a module on me because I do want to thank you I'm just really surprised that you guys love DCS and love my videos and like my commentary and all that good stuff so I want to give back to the community and I've learned so much from the community and I think that's one good way to 
share and support one another. And I do want to remind everybody that it is really important within DCS to always be positive and support each other because that's the only way we can learn and enjoy this game. Also for everybody who flies uh, PvE, come out and play PvP. It's frustrating, it's a pain in the butt sometimes, but it is a lot of fun. Once you get into it, it's tons of fun and I promise to get onto more PvE servers and do some ground bombing or maybe at least I'll do cap because I think that's one thing that I'm okay at. Dropping bombs, I'm so-so, unless they're KMG using cluster bombs. But once again, thanks everybody to get me up to 500 subscribers. Couldn't do it without you in the community and uh, comment below. I'm an existing subscriber or I'm a new subscriber and here's the module I want to get. All right, Plasma thanks you and I'll keep making more videos. Oh wait, hang on, there's this weird thing I found here during the replay, check this out. Well, let's look at this poor little F-15. So I was replaying that track for the F-15 view and I was wondering why one guy got away. I was like, there's 249 shot down, should be 250. Well, it looks like this guy got hit in the very beginning. And the way DCS replay works is so there's a little bit of random chance. So this guy actually survived the initial volley and decided to fly back to his home base. So I hope he makes it back to his home base. And I hope everyone has a fantastic day and you found this video interesting. And uh, of course, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Oh, and by the way, here's the hyper-threading footage. So as you can see, core number 16, the very last one, a lot more spikiness to it. So it's not getting a consistent load. But again, it's the very last core that's being loaded up.